Hello, friends. How's it going? It's uh, it's me again, the wonderful eclipsing. Yeah, I don't even know why I try it. Okay, so I'm a little bit excited because on November 29th, Clip Studio Paint, you know, the the software I use a lot, it came out with version 1.8.4, and I was just browsing through what features they added this time, which I was like, oh yeah, cool. Um, animation features. Awesome! I used the animation feature one time because I have the Pro version and not the X, so um, I can't do more than like, I don't know, 24 frames or something. But it's nice to see that they can now add audio files. That's good. That's great. But then I saw this other thing. Oh, I guess there's also um, whatever this is. I saw this thing and I'm like, hey, wh what? what is this? What is... What is this? You can now automatically colorize images with the technology preview features for all of these guys. And I'm like, oh, so you can have a line art and just kind of, I'm gonna try some colors like this. And then you do some tech magic, um, send some data to the AI server, does some little magic there, and what's this? A colored image. That's that's pretty cool, and you know, I, I feel like this is only useful for um, people who actually do line art, aka not me. Um, but I, I'm, I really want to try this. I found this image off of a website, which I will get to because um, it does exactly the same thing. AI powered automatic colorization. I should maybe try this afterwards, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you feed it a line art. Or sketch or whatever in the color. Same same deal here, but my focus here is I'm I'm trying to play around with this new feature, Clip Studio. And I kinda just nabbed a line art from from this guy because it looked cute and it's clean. And you know, originally I was going to go on DeviantArt and find a nice line art to use. That way I could show the user, you know, give them credit, be like, look at this person's awesome gallery and stuff, but most of the line art I saw were either of wolves and cats, which I'm not interested in coloring, or when I try to look for anime girls, um, there were two, a lot of them were kind of nude, so that was a no-go, um, so I found this one. If one day I, I do do line art at some point. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. But if I do line art, I will for sure be lazy and try to use this feature to get a base layer in before I start shading and all that. To do this, I need to, for this line art layer, set it as, uh, that's the wrong one, set it as a reference layer, right? So that way, later when I do the magic menu item to colorize, uh, the software program will know which one to use as the line art. So under that, I'm gonna add a coloring layer, and I'm gonna color it really crappily. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. You know, I don't even know why I'm making a video. It's honestly, why do I bother? <laughs> I just really like trying new stuff in in programs um, and then never using it again. So let's let's do like a nice brown here. I I'm gonna try not to be too neat but I uh ooh. let's not be a savage though. So now I can also do the background, um, let's do green. I feel like, oh that, that's bright, <laughs> bright green, okay, 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 uh, uh, just kind of give a suggestion that I want this to be green, so better do your job and fill it in as green, and uh, here's some flowers. I have nothing interesting to say, which is why I'm rambling right now. Uh, 
filling the gaps by saying, uh. Cool. I'm also gonna, I wonder if it'll like that. I wanna see how the blending is like, if I'm like adding some purple tints here and there. Looks about right, yep. All right, now with this layer selected, I go to edit and yeah, here we go. Do it. Do it. Oh, it's doing it. Oh. That's not bad. That's, uh, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> like, if you had a line art and you're like, I just need to test out the overall look of uh, the color palette without having to commit and doing the coloring and stuff, this is actually really nice. And especially also, even past that point, you can use this as a starting point to paint or shade on top of because it just, it's just very nice and neat and really pleasing to look at. So I can see that um, the clothing here with the blending, that looks really nice. I like that. It gets a look confused on the hands here when I, I think I mostly only did some skin tones here and I was like, uh, should I blend this? And it ended up turning kind of greenish, yellowish, blotchy around there, but that's all right. And yeah, that looks pretty good overall. That's, that's really neat. That's it. That is awesome. As we all know, I sure as hell don't do clean line art like this. Like, I mean, look, look at this. Why, why are you so clean? So I was like, okay, how about I use it for like sketches or something? So I have the sketch. I mean, I had all my sketches on different layers, but I think you can only set one as ref layer. So I made a copy and I merged them. So I'm going to kind of try to see it the same thing because the goal of this test is that, you know me, I don't do line art. I just kind of sketch something and then I paint it. Yeah. Well, um, I like to do base colors, and I'm wondering how it handles something that's not so clean. So this is a sketch of an original character I had from like way, 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 way back, and I never really fleshed her out that much, and I don't use her at all, but I was kind of doing a redraw. Oh, what am I doing? I need to stop being distracted. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do like the same thing, kind of, just loosely be like, hey, this is what I want. Maybe I'm just gonna let it do this. All right, cool. Do you like my coloring? I actually remember it in kindergarten we had an exercise where there were uh, elephants to color and they were just like halves of elephants or other animals. I don't know if there were other animals, but each half had a different color labeled on them. And you're supposed to color that half with that color there. And it's just an exercise be like, oh yeah, reading colors and um, doing coloring in with that color. And uh, it just so happened that um, two halves were the same color, so I colored it all in. And you see, I was that kid that just started doing the work before the instructions were over. Whoa, what the? Um, so I was the kind of kid that would just like to, you know, I, I got this, teacher. I read the instructions. You can continue talking, but I'm, I'm gonna start and act on it. So it just so happened that two halves were the same color. They were both blue and I was just coloring in. And the teacher saw that and she was like, grabbing my paper and she like held out to class. She's like, class, what did I just say? You need to follow instructions. You can't just color the whole thing however you want. And then she looked at it and she's like, oh, both halves are blue. And I was like, yeah. She was trying to apologize to me, but I was already kind of wanting to cry. Why did I, why did I talk about that? Anyways, back to the, um, this thing here. It kind of gets confused in some places, like it definitely blended more here with the pink 
than I would have liked and it totally like just was like okay I have no idea what's going on with the head with this blob here so I'm just gonna blend everything which is I think why there's no distinct red or hair it's just kind of more orangey overall but I don't dislike this look does this look very artistic so one other thing I think in the preview or sorry in the update was this guy Hmm. That's certainly a look. Alright. Cool, I don't like that. But maybe it looks better on this this guy here. This actually this actually turned out really well, like compared compared to <laughs> whatever abomination this is. But I'm gonna try this. Hmm. I would rather just color the um, lines myself. Let's look at this guy. So, oh, hello, sample image. Oh, there's so many. Oh yeah, there's the there's the one. I wonder if its algorithm is better though. So let's let's try it because oh what the you can have different styles of coloring. I think I'm gonna um. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, I'm gonna try to color a, a similar color palette to this one. Uh, I don't like that. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna be like, hey, color, and um, oh, oh you know, I have, you know why I keep doing this? It's because I keep hitting Control Z or Command Z by reflex when I mess up. And you can't do that here because it just messes up my tabs in Safari. Uh, please don't auto refresh, I don't like that. Oh, this looks so ugly. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my art channel where I do some amazing art. Today I'm going to show you how to color. Um, the first thing with coloring is don't bother filling, filling the area that you want to color because screw that, that's a waste of time. Why would you do that? Disgusting. Um, instead, you should always take a shortcut and just casually hint to the viewer what color something's supposed to be. Like right now, these these uh, flowers are supposed to be kind of pink. And that's all you need. That's all you deserve to know. You don't deserve to see me fill in all the space. This is all you need for me. And, uh, sass and blush, voila. Oops, uh, let's do this. Canna. Turn up, up this one. Oh, what? What the heck? E excuse me. <laughs> Wait, how? Okay, I, I was like, okay, this is cool. This is awesome. Mm, that looks pretty good, but what? What kind of AI? What? What? I wonder if it's because this is one of their, you know, test line arts. I'm pretty sure you need to have clean lines to do this. But anyway, let's try it. Satsuki. Okay. Satsuki kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, Satsuki is more like like this, but more vibrant. Um, not very good at blending. All right, Tampopo. Tampopo. Not bad either. Looks very much like an old manga scan. Clearly, this this one is the best here. I- How? How? <laughs> I mean, I made a little bit of mistakes here and all with like some of the edges, but this is like actually really impressive. Hmm. Because, I mean, you start with this and you get to this. 
You know, I'm... I'm gonna do it. Let's do this. Kana first. Oh. Huh. Okay, so she actually stuck to those colors. It did really well on the hair here. Better than Clip Studio. Clip Studio is super um, vibrant. And it does get a little bit lost when it comes to really messy lines. But this one, uh... The lines get really weird. <laughs> they get like... I don't remember the name of this effect, but it's like a weird filter. Let's try it, Sasuke. Okay. That's... You know, more similar to this one. That's, um... Bad. <laughs> Tampoco? Okay, Tampapo needs to die. Thank you so much for joining me for this disgusting video where I just ramble and make a fool of myself. Um, and exploring this interesting technology, this interesting update to Clip Studio Paint. There's actually so much stuff in this program that I never really use, like animation, 3D models, and resources they have here. Sorry for wasting your time, I'm surprised. You're still here, but thank you so much. Have a good day. Goodbye.